Γεια σας! This is the Greek Reporter Weekly News with Christina Lupi. In the European Musical Contest Eurovision 2011, Lucas Yorkis's brilliant performance brought Greece to seventh place with the song Watch My Dance. Azerbaijan won the contest with the song Running Scared and was followed by Italy in second place and Sweden in third place. Prime Minister George Papandreou addressed the Progressive Governance Conference in Oslo last Friday, stressing that the Greek debt is manageable without restructuring. The conference was themed a post-crisis agenda for the centre-left, securing shared prosperity. Papandreou added that we have decided to remain and to safeguard the euro. Papandreou outlined a series of measures being implemented by the Greek government, such as the opening of so-called closed shop professions and changes to taxation in the social security system. Demonstrators clashed with riot police in central Athens on Thursday, furious at the severe injury of a protester during an anti-austerity march. This was the second day of violence in the Greek capital. Hooded youths used hammers to smash marble and paving stones from buildings, facades and pavements, hurling the jagged chunks and firebombs at the police, who responded with volleys of tear gas and stun grenades. Running battles with police ensued through the streets of central Athens, with protesters setting trash bins on fire and one of them burning a Greek flag. The clashes broke out during a demonstration of about 5,000 protesters from left-wing groups and unions amid condemnations of alleged police brutality over the wounding of a 31-year-old man in Wednesday's protest against the government's austerity measures. Last week, more than 24 people were detained in central Athens in the early hours of Wednesday following a violent anti-immigrant protest. The protest was organized by a far-right group in response to the fatal stabbing of Manolis Kadaris, a Greek national who was stabbed to death in the center of Athens. As a response to the murder, hundreds of hooded youths smashed apartment buildings and stores, shouting, foreigners leave Greece, hours after Kadaris was stabbed to death during a street robbery in an area of the city where many immigrants reside. Riot police intervened shortly after the protesters began chasing and clashing with immigrants carrying broken bottles and clubs. Moving on to the USA. The ambassador of Greece in the United States, Vasilis Kaskarelis, was declared Diplomat of the Year by the International Affairs Council in Los Angeles during a special event in Beverly Hills, California. Its members are opinion leaders, prominent businessmen and academics. This award honors distinguished personalities of the diplomatic corps for the contribution in the Society of Nations. Designer John Varvatos stars in a new TV commercial for Chrysler. The one-minute video is titled Imported from Detroit attitude and emphasizes the rock and roll and heavy industrial influences of the Greek American designer. The ad spot is part of the Imported from Detroit campaign that started with the Super Bowl Chrysler commercial starring Eminem. In the campaign, Chrysler uses different faces, a mix of famous and everyday people with one requirement, they have to be from Detroit. In the past, Varvatos himself has used two Detroit natives in his own ad campaigns, music legends Iggy Pop and Alice Cooper. Let's see what's going on in Hollywood. Los Angeles Greek Film Festival has announced the 2011 lineup of films for its fifth annual festival, which runs from June 9th to June 12th. This year, seven feature films, five documentaries and nine shorts, including three world premieres, ten U.S. premieres and eight L.A. premieres will be presented during the four-day festival. The festival has also added to the schedule this year an industry panel called Crossing Borders – Foreign Films in Hollywood. The opening night gala will showcase Leah Bisner's documentary Pelican's Watch. 
On Friday, June 10th, LA Greek Film Festival will present the US premiere of Roy Scher's My Sweet Canary, a documentary that recounts the story of Rosa Eskenazi, the diva of Rebetiko or Greek blues, whose music shaped the soundtrack of Greece and Asia Minor for almost a century. The legendary music composer Mikis Thodorakis will be presented with an honorary Orpheus Award during the award ceremony on Sunday, June 12, at the Writers Guild Theatre. Moving on to Australia. New research conducted by Professor Anastasios Tamis and the University of Notre Dame, Australia has revealed that Greek is the third most common language other than English spoken at homes in Australia, despite the fact that three in four Greek Australians are born there. The first language spoken at home other than English is Arabic, which based on the research is spoken by 11.8% of the population followed by Vietnamese by 8.4%. Greek came in at 4.3%. For more news and the latest updates, visit us at greekreporter.com. Have a wonderful week and remember, Greeks are everywhere!